just happened? Okay, I just lost that crank. I don't even know what just happened. Well, that reel's being retired. I need to go find that line now. I better not have lost that. It's the only one of that size I have. Oh, there it is. All right, I found it. Okay, this rod, this reel, should be able to throw these better. Yeah, this is gonna be much better. I just hit, something hit it. Oh, something else hit it. Like, I think fish are hitting it. Maybe I just need to really slow down. Another bite, I'm getting bit like crazy. There we go. Doesn't feel very big. That's not. Oh, man, he just came off. There we go. Gosh, these are so pale. I've been doing so much. I've been doing so much frog fishing that I forget how pale these fish can get. Probably close to the biggest one of the day, which is a little sad. He's probably no more than a pound. There we go. Behind the boat. This is the biggest fish of the day. Fattest fish of the day, at least. Still, not a keeper. That was probably a pound and a quarter, just because of how fat she was. I think this, this, this cove is just loaded with these things. There we go. This could be a bigger fish. This is a bigger fish. This is a keeper. Here's a keeper. Skinny, though, unfortunately. I mean, I like keepers, but looking for the biggins all right that's the longest fish of the day oh god i got hit right away oh no oh, god. what the heck i don't understand how some of these knots actually happen there we go that's one. It's a little guy. Another one. I don't like messing with these because they, oh my god, are just asking, can I put a hole in your finger? Okay. Another little guy. What do we have for fish? I don't know. What are we up to? 10 or 15? Man, that shade is feeling good. Oh, I got one right under the boat. Oh, I barely got him hooked. Oh. <sighs> nope, nope, you're not getting anywhere. All right. Solid fish. Not a keeper. Ooh. Oh, another one. Right underneath the boat. Come on, man. All right, bud. We're letting you go. All right, guys, we are on a very clear shad pattern. Tons of bait fish in here. So we needed something that's very similar. I could be throwing a spinner bait. I wanted to switch it up. Something with a pretty small profile, easy to throw, quick retrieve. And this little flicker shad is doing the job. So I'm always changing directions. Oh, this fish just stopped me in my tracks. I actually don't think it's that big but it just hit like a hammer. Seriously. Well, all right. I don't have to worry about getting a hook in me. There's another one. Oh. Man, these, these fish are aggressive. Nope, nope, nope. I will have none of that. All right. Again, not a keeper. I think that is going to be the title of this video. Not a keeper. I'm getting hit like crazy. It's just hit after hit after hit after hit. I don't know if I've ever felt something like that. I am convinced there's some fish right here. Oh, you son of a nutcracker. Oh my gosh. Are the hooks like just all bent or something where I'm not able to hook any fish? 
That's a fish. Ooh, 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 ooh. This. Well, there's a dead fish. Oh, God, is it. Breeze feel wonderful. Cloudy breeze. Mm. Oh, I got one. Come on, bud. Bud. Okay, okay. Okay. There we go. Bigger fish? Oh, yeah. Okay, you're gonna break my rod, bud. Whoa, this is definitely a bigger fish. Hey, that is a good fish. That's about a pound and a half. That was probably the heaviest fish of the day. All these fish are super, super fat. And I can see that my lens is dirty. All right, we're just we're putting on a clinic here. All right, you guys gotta see this. Look at this. You see that? That is bait. That is crazy. This cove fills with bait at some point in the year. This was just later in the year than normal. Oh man, I'm gonna go right through a giant school of minnows. Oh, there we go. This fish, I could see the school of minnows out there and this fish was right underneath. These fish are just so fat. Don't poop. Stop pooping. And smell it instantly. Oh, this one hammered it. Oh, that was a, that's a little better fish. That might keep. That honestly, that might keep. This is a problem with crankbait fish is that they are dangerous. That might keep pound and a half, maybe pound and a quarter. Oh no. You. Are you kidding me? I just broke off on a plant. I see it. How did this break off? This is, what is this, 15 pound braid. This is a teeny little reed. Hmm. It didn't even break off at the knot. Yum. That's good. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, this is gotta be a good fish. No, it's not. Dang. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Oh, another one. Barely has it. You sure you don't want to just pop off? There he goes. Gosh, there's so many fish jumping out all over. There we go, right underneath the boat. Oh, come on, you are scary. Oh, there's a fish. Where are your grandparents? You, wow, that was scary. Oh, there's a fish too. Back, back. A catfish? Oh, geez. You aren't what I want to catch. You little slime balls. It's a little channel cat. Oh, come on. Open your mouth. The hook will come out. All right. Little channel cat. Slime ball. Gross. That was not graceful. There we go. Another catfish. Cast in a row. Oh. 
There's a good fish. Oh, you little sucker. You got me. You just got me good. I'm very lucky that's not stuck in my hand. Seriously. You just got... A hook went all through my thumb. That is a good fish. I don't know what I'm up to. Probably 40? 30 or 40? Poor, poor thumb. Nope. I ain't falling for that again. These are all just cookie cutters. A little guy. All right, pack up and move. All right. up and move. Let's head over to one more spot before we call it quits. Dang it, that fish hammered it. There we go. It's not a bad one. There isn't nearly as much activity over here as there was in that cove. So, we are going to head back over there. <sighs> it's hot. Ooh! Right underneath the boat. You're barely hooked, bud. Oh, come on. I am happy to be rid of you. You were gonna be the cause of a hook in my hand. I could just feel it. I could just feel it. Oh, ooh. Oh, man. This is a better one. Bud, I'm trying to get you unhooked here. There's not a bad Oh, yes. Oh, this one feels pretty good. Nope, he was just kind of hooked funny. Ow. Oh my gosh, the bait cloud that I'm over is ridiculous. Do you see that? There's a fish. It's a small one. Whoop. Whoop. Let's catch another one right here. Whoa, that's not a good cast. Oh yeah. Alright. Another one. I see a little dead minnow. Let's see if I can hook this guy. I got him. All right, so let's take a look at what this bait is trying to mimic. Oh my gosh, look at how, look at that. Gosh, that breeze feels wonderful. A little guy. There we go. Another one, I'm telling you, we're, we're getting close to 50 fish. That's why I just caught that last fish right off of, was the end of, the very end of that rock. Oh, oh, hammered it. 
Another fat little guy. Oh man, this one hammered it again. Oh, he came off. Let's keep making our way around and we're gonna go. I keep saying we're gonna leave, but then we don't. It's what's called the fishing addiction. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I honestly wonder if something that dives shallower would be better. Literally, as I say that, I get hit hard. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, this is a little better fish. Oh, just come off. Oh my goodness. There's one. There's one. That's a better fish. Oh, that might keep. It's gonna be close. Nope. You are a fat 15 incher. Ah. There's another one. This one definitely will not keep. Yeah, definitely will not keep. Okay, we're going into the jungle here. What the? That breeze feels awesome. You look like you got some pain in those eyes. Let's go surfing. Oh, the weather outside is weather. If you guys don't know what movie that is, shame on you. There's a fish. We were in a little bit of a, a slump. By slump, I mean we went like 10 minutes without catching a fish. Oh, man, another one. Wish there were smallmouth in this lake. That would be amazing. All right, we definitely are over 50 fish. We might be closing in on 60. There's a fish. Okay. Well, you just hooked yourself even worse. Whoa! You psycho! You literally have made it so much worse. What the? Ah! Where are the damn pliers? We don't need pliers. Seriously, you are so stupid. You are dumb. Next fish will be the last fish. I'm in shock. I cannot get bit. Oh gosh. All right. Well, whoa, calm down. Definitely no giant. But that has got to be like fish number 60 today. It's been an unreal day. I'm fishing the Berkeley Flicker Shad. They match the hatch really well to shad which most of them in right in here right now are about this size and there are a ton an absolute ton of them in here the moral of the story is match the hatch today we started out we wanted to break down the good old mystery tackle box but as soon as i got done with those baits man i immediately knew what i wanted to throw i wanted to throw this it's small enough where fish will go after it you can catch giants on these things um but in the end it caught a lot of fish i mean look at my thumb do you see that? My thumb is destroyed in a good way. So we're gonna let this little guy go. Thanks you guys for tuning in. If you like this kind of video, if you like where I'm on the boat, let me know, leave a comment below. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because I got tons more videos coming. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again for watching. This is Winnie C.D. Bassin signing out.